Yo, what is going on guys and coach here in today? I'm going to be showing you part two of the most secret and unknown things in the Destiny universe. Starting off at number one, I'm going to be showing you how to get on top of the vault in the tower. A lot of you OG day one Destiny players may already know this, but for anybody new to the game, this is definitely something amazing. Pretty much what you want to do is have one person activate the fan and the second person has to spam the X button or A if you're on Xbox to get as high as you can and once you're at the top just make your way over to the vault. In at number 2 we have the Mask of the Third Man Phenomenon. Pretty much if you are a male hunter you're going to have blue eyes glowing from your Mask of the Third Man and if you are a female hunter you're going to have green eyes. I know at first when I saw this I was very confused because at the time I switched from a TV to a monitor but after a while somebody explained to me that it actually had something to do with the sex of your guardian. I made a video about this a while back but pretty much the Thunderlord has a perk that it retained from the very early days of Destiny when it was still under production and that perk is called Lightning Rounds. Every so often a few of your bullets in your magazine will actually end up exploding into an arc storm, there's a bunch of lightning in it and it does an area of effect damage which is definitely very beneficial for PvE. I don't see too many uses of this in PvP, I would stick to a rocket launcher but nonetheless a very cool thing that not a lot of people notice. Promise you won't laugh at me with this one guys, but I didn't know that there's a standing up animation. Instead, I would always start to sprint or walk away once I was sitting down and wanted to get back up, but pretty much if you tap down on the d-pad again, you can stand right up. I am seriously mind blown right now. Up next we have something very subtle that I don't expect a lot of you guys to know about and that is the difference between the male and female Eternal Warrior Exotic Helmet. If you know about this, pat yourself on the back in advance because this is something not a lot of people know about. Pretty much the Titan male has scratches down from the top to the bottom of their eye and their eyes are definitely very weird shaped compared to the females. They also have a very prominent jawline while the females look a lot more clean and uh, I guess more narrow. Take a look. Ah, the good old red death one of the only weapons in the game that can counter the thorn at this moment in time. Obviously it has a perk that if you kill a guardian or a enemy in PvE, you can regen all of your health back instantaneously. But did you know that you don't actually have to kill something for it to trigger? As you can see I'm shooting at a fallen ship, I take out the ships and my health gets regen just like that. But that's not it, you can actually shoot grenades as well and they will regen your health. How cool is that? And that's not all guys, there's actually one more thing that I found you can shoot and pretty much it is these exploding barrel type things, I don't know what to call them, but as you can see it works as well. Call me a dum dum, but I didn't know that you can actually figure out which enemy type you're about to fight in the next wave of Prison of Elders just by looking at the door. I don't expect every single one of you to know about this because I didn't figure this out until 3 weeks after Prison of Elders was launched. As you can see there's Cabal shields on top of this door, meaning you're about to fight the Cabal. On the Hive one, there are glowing green crystals and bones, that's how you can tell you're fighting the Hive. On the Vex store, there is a Vex time gate, very cool design right there, that's when you know you're facing Vex. And for the Fallen, there is some Fallen insignia on this barrel and that's how you can tell you're fighting the Fallen. Pretty simple, but something I didn't know of until last minute. I left my favorite weapon for last and that is the LDR 5001. The description reads Ballistic Heartbreak and LDR actually stands for Long Distance Relationship. Makes total sense because you're going to be sniping people's heads off from a mile away. 
literally 5001 feet is about a mile so that just goes to show the distance at which you're going to be sniping people from a pretty clever way of making this gun sound very cool from bungie and i highly applaud their efforts that's all for the video guys i hope you enjoyed and learned something new if you did make sure to smash that like button and of course if you didn't learn anything new i'm sorry but you can still smash the like button subscribe for more daily destiny content and as always and cool ciao